Hello everyone, this is Osterju18, aka Giovanni Huerta, and welcome to another exciting gym leader challenge battle. And today we're going up against another gym leader that is none other than Kiwi the Costa Rican, who is aka the Water Gym. So, okay, I thought for a second I didn't even have my team ready, I was gonna be like, oh my god! But anyways, definitely if you guys have not checked out Q the Costa Rican, the link to his channel will be in the description below and then we'll be having a post commentary meeting after this battle. Let's see what he thought about it. But anyways, what do you guys think about this series so far? Let me know in the description below. This is something that I've been doing since season 1 but it's taken me a little while to get these episodes out because contacting these people are sometimes the most hardest things after the season ends and plus I had school and a lot of other things were happening throughout that whole entire season but we still made it clutch I still was available but anyways let's get on with the battle I have one minute remaining I got six Pokemon he has Pelipper he has Primarina he has Gyarados he has holy crap that's choice carved isn't it Okay, my tie mod is Choice Scarf too, so it, it's up to a speed tie. Size Matoda is going to be a problem. So I have Yulong for that. So I'm actually honestly going to open with Presidio because I know the rocks are going to matter. And if anything, it's the Pelipper that's going to have anything. The Pelipper is going to be the one that has probably like Defog or something. Because uh, otherwise, I don't see anyone else having it. So this is going to be a little bit problematic, but your boy has got this situation under control. Hopefully, I can get a dub in this. It might be hard because I'm expecting a lot of Ice-type Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean Ice-type Pokemon. Ice-type moves from Q, the Costa Rican. Now, I don't know what to expect. Maybe a G-Max, Pre-Marina, and um, I don't know what else to expect. Because I don't, Or maybe even G-Max. He might actually bring in the G-Max. Oh gosh. Mm. Okay, Presidio, this is not the best matchup if it has Intimidate. Can you run Moxie? Oh, it runs Moxie! Oh! Oh! Oh, it actually runs Moxie! But you know what? I'm gonna run in the Stealth Rock because your boy needs the Stealth Rock. Hopefully you do not have Defog, because if you have Defog, then I'm a, I'm a little bit of a pickle. He has the Dragon Dance set. I might actually get sweet boys if he gets the second one up. He, he might actually. If he has earthquake on Katana. Oh no. Hmm. This is bad. This is bad guys. He has Moxie. Plus two. And he's already faster than half of my team. This is bad. He's outraged locked and Presidio is down for the count. I kinda have to. I don't want to bring him in this early. I, I'm kinda forced I'm kinda forced into bring Diana already. Oh I didn't want to. He's locked into outrage, so thankfully I will take a hit from this. And I have to Thunderbolt. I have to Thunderbolt. He's locked in. He's locked in. I got a G-Max. I got no other option. He made me force me <laughs> force bring my G-Max Pokemon right now. And I have to bring him. So, ugh, I didn't even predict that. Ugh. Okay, I, I, I'm a little bit out of my little bit of my comfort zone and, and Pokemon battling. But, hey, I'm still, there's still, oh, can I, oh, I knew I could have taken one. Can we get a Thunderbolt? Can we kill this in one shot? Can we do it? Oh gosh, someone's hand is calling me. Oh gosh. Very unprofessional. Oh, can I one shot him? I need it. I need to have one shot at this guy. I need to have one shot at this guy. Or else I'm done. He's got he might bring in the seismitoad, honestly. I'm I wouldn't even be surprised if he brought in the seismitoad. Oh god. Jeez. What what's next? What's next? What's next? Can you bring in the seismitoad? I I I'm I'm honestly hoping you bring in the seismitoad right now. 
I honestly hope you're bringing the suspect up, but I don't think he is. Because this guy is the only one that I know who can one-shot this thing. Froppy. There you go. Now, here, here, here it is. He might play me, but either ways, this max overgrowth is going to hurt. This max overgrowth is going to hurt anyone. Yep. All right. Bye-bye, Froggy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Capiche Kapow! Woo! Ooh! Woo! Oh, my God. All right, we took him down. Now the rest of the team is not going to be in easy in the ballpark, but it is going to be very difficult. At least we don't have to deal with any shenanigans right now, and we're healing up as time goes on, which is kind of amazing. I still have one more turn of Dynamax, and that's amazing. Now, out of all my Dragon-type Pokemons that I had in these past Gym Leader battles, Dian has by far been the most successful Pokemon aside from the Ground Dream because if you guys have not checked out that battle with Kyogre Kawaii, Rhyperior is just beyond believable and ridiculous, honestly. I don't know if I could take a hit from this guy. I'm gonna go for G-Max Depletion. I, I don't know if I could take a hit from from this guy. I don't know. Dragons are neutral. Ugh. Oh my god. I took down three of his Pokemon. It's, you know what? You know what? You did your job. You did your job. You did honestly perfectly well, Diane. You see, why, this is why I love Diane with all my heart. Like, this is my favorite Dragon-type Pokemon of 7th Gen. Wait, is this 7th Gen or 8th Gen? I don't know what Gen we're in. Uh, that's... That's how my mind is. I, I haven't played Sword and Shield in such a long time. Just like I mentioned in the last previous episode with the Phantom Michael, I have not Wi-Fi battled in over a month. But even then, I still watch Pokemon battles every now and then, so maybe that's why my brain strategic capabilities is still alive. So does that end off my three trends of Jag... Gigantamax? Yeah, it does. Alright. Whew! So, all I have left to deal with, if I'm correct, is Pelipper. And my favorite Water-type Pokemon. I can't remember his name already. It, I want to say it's Froakie, but it's not Froakie. Jeez, I just had him a while ago. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna shoot a Thunderbolt, and if I take a hit, I take a hit. If I don't take a hit, then I don't take a hit. Oh my god, he's gonna G-Max. Can I G-Max stall this? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, but going back on the starter. I forgot the starter already. It's so bull. I forgot the second evolution. The third evolution is... I'm trying to remember. It's a sniper. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm so fast! Okay, all right. I, I I snacked a thunderbolt. That's fine. That's fine. If I could take in a starfall, I would have been like ridiculously surprised. I would have been like, this guy's OP. All right. I see where I stand. I see where I stand. So two Pokemon are down. Can I make this a four roll? I don't know. Not necessarily. Okay. What is, what is your speed? Let me check up your speed real quick and compare it to my other Pokemon. So, your, mm -hmm. your 108 speed, 122. Mm. What about you? I want to bring you in. But he has fairy moves, so... Alright, you know what? I'll bring Yulong. See how Yulong does. I I don't use much of Yulong. I use more of Drompa than anyone. And this guy doesn't get a time to shine at all. So let's see what what Yulong's got in store. Ken. Oh dang. Dang. Oh my God! Y'all about to get wrecked. Because it ain't, it ain't meant to take hits. Alright, alright. Alright, you did yourself justice. <laughs> oh, you long, you long, you long. You're not too strong, unfortunately. Now, as for the rest of the team, mm, it honestly depends. 
So Fafnir, I know Fafnir could take it down a notch if he had to. So if I'm right, there's three more Pokemon left in this squad. And one of them is... I forget his name. I'm still on it right now. I'm still on it. What's his... What's that final evolution? Uh, Squabble. Squabble. I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting Squabble, Squaggly, some, something like that. Alright, I'm just going to Earthquake Fafnir. Fafnir, just deal with it. Pre-Marina. You're such a tanky girl, Becky. Becky, I don't know what to say about that. But Becky, you, you're a tough girl. No lie. No lie. So there's two Pokemon left. Pelipper is practically dead. It's going to be hit by that. Stealth Rock's really hard. Pele Pels. Yep. There you, there you go. Bye-bye. Okay, maybe not, not fully taken down. <sighs> okay, that water. Mm. I want to go for Outrage. And let's see what Outrage got for me. Oh, I really wish that didn't... Oh, that really hurts. Outrage. Outrage. Just do as max amount of my damage you can, girl. Pelly Pels is dead. Ooh, there's still one more Pokemon, and I can't remember your name for the life of me. What are you? I know you're an agent. Don't don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I I, I know, I I know who you are. <laughs> don't do this to me. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna have to Google this. Uh, Sobol's final evolution. I can't believe I'm I, I'm reduced to this. I can't believe I'm reduced to this. No freaking way. Soul Bowl's final evolution. Final <laughs> evolution. I'm gonna get so Inteleon. I didn't even see the name. I, I just remembered right now when I just looked at this picture. Inteleon. Okay. Alright. I don't want to officially say things that aren't, aren't true, but I want to say it's safe to say that this is basically GG. GG, right? GG. I really want to say it's GG. I don't know, but I really want to say it's GG. So, Tiamat, finish it with an amazing outrage from your beautifulness. And, Agent. Oh my god, it actually survived? If I get frozen, if I can't... <laughs> if I got frozen, I would have been so pissed. <laughs> I would have gotten so pissed. <laughs> oh, God. That was GG. Wow, that was a very close match. I only have one Pokemon remaining, but even then, that would have been very risky. I could That could have been his game. So, thank you, Q the Costa Rican. Um, for that amazing battle, here's my lead card. If you don't want to give me yours, it's all right. But anyways, we may go into a little post commentary. So let me know what you guys thought about this battle. And as for my commentary, sorry for being a little bit flaky. I don't, I just didn't remember Italian's name for the life of me. I was trying this whole entire time. So anyways, so let's get on to the post commentary. Dun, da da dun, da da dun, 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 dun. Done. Why is my mic looking so weird? Oh, weird. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I'm going and vibing. Let's go. Let's go. My name is Gio. I'm going up against the gym leaders. Poison, fire, ice, and water. What you got up against me, little fire? Let's go. A, A. I'm about to take on the gyms. I'm going to take on W's and I got four L's. You know what? This is season two. Let's go. A. Let's go. Yo. Rapping on the route. Yo, what's up? Kill the Costa Rican. Yo. Yo, what's good, man? Yo, what's good? Yo, that that battle? You you had yeah. me you had me on my chair, literally holding yeah. my chair with that Moxie. <laughs> with that Moxie. I was scared yeah, I to death. I low key probably should have Dynamax, but I was like, eh, I don't want a Dynamax. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, dude. When I wasn't expecting much from like Gyarados, uh, other aside from the Moxie, right? Yeah. But you started dragon dancing. And I was like, wait, what? What? So I was still trying to get back into my battling vibes, and then you start dragon dancing, and I'm just like, oh my god, my he totally outspeeds even my choice scarf at this point. I don't yeah, know what to do. So like, I did that because you let off a Kamo, so I was like, oh, he's definitely like a rocks lead. So I was like, yo, let me just get this free D dance, and then if I Dynamax, I probably could have just swept the team, but I was like. I don't know. I just didn't feel like I didn't uh didn't want to do that too early. You know what I'm saying? Dynamax uh -huh. too early. So I was all like, I'll save it for later. But yeah, I probably should have just Dynamax. 
If you had Fair Dynamax, too. I think it definitely would have been on your win, to be honest. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just didn't. But uh, yeah, Did... really uh, cool team. I was disappointed you didn't bring Dragapult. Dragapult? Yeah, dude. That's what I was looking forward to fighting, man. I was this close to bringing it, but I was like... Uh, I feel like he's going to bring the Jellicent, and I only have Phantom Force on it, and I don't want to deal with that shenanigans, so I thought I'd bring oh, someone yeah. else. Oh, okay. The reason I say that was because I was battling against one of the gym challengers, and they had a Jellicent, and I knew how much of a pain in the butt that was to deal with. And oh, I had yeah, Dragon Pull. attacker, it's pretty bad. Mm-hmm. I had a Dragon, uh, I had a, a Dragon Pull, and it was like physical set, and it really turned out really bad. <laughs> It was if a close match. Shadow Ball, you would have put in some work against Jellison. Mm-hmm. It definitely. But other than that, dude, psh, I, <laughs> that that pre Marina was very bulky by the, by the looks of it. Yeah, dude, I didn't think I was gonna live. I was like, yo, I lived on ten. Let's go. Like, I did not think I was about to live. <laughs> I I don't know. I mean, all, in that whole entire, the reason why I brought the uh, Komomo in the background was because Stealth Rocks for the past has worked phenomenally. Oh, and, yeah, sure. and the fact that you brought in Pelipper, I was like, that's it. That's the grain of salt that I need. Because I know Pelipper can be bulky when it wants to. So I was like... Yeah, I was uh, I was, I was max speed choice guard Pelipper. I wasn't any uh, any bulk invested at all. Mm-hmm. Dude, the one Pokemon that was getting to me in my brain, it, it wasn't more like he was a threat, but more like my commentary was surrounded around Inteleon. Because oh, yeah? I, haven't, I have not played Sword and Shield for the last month or so. Or two months, I want to say. And I was trying to remember Inteleon's name for the life of me for the past 10 minutes. I was like, okay, <laughs> it's Sobo. It's Sobo. And then I, for whatever reason, I was thinking about Squabble. I was like, oh, it's Final Evolution. is Squabble or Squirrelish. <laughs> I was like, no, it's not. No, it's not. And then when it hits like 10 minutes later, I'm like, frick this. I'm going to Google this. And I Google it. And... Right when I look at his like the image, I'm like, oh wait, it's Inteleon. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a weird it's one of the weird names. It sounds like it should be an evolution, but it's not. Exactly. But hey, dude, that was a magnificent battle. I honestly oh, thought yeah, I was gonna get swept. I thought I had no chance against Moxie, Dragon Dance, Gyarados. That would have GG'd me. And if you had Earthquake, did you have Earthquake? Uh no, I was just straight up spamming outrage. Oh really? Yeah. What what other what was the moveset of your Gyarados? Uh, Dragon Dance Outrage, Waterfall Crunch, I think. Waterfall Crunch. Oh, then I I would have still been able to do something with um, I just wouldn't been having I wouldn't be able to do as much work with Diane if I, if you did D Max G Max, I wouldn't be able to do anything. That's definitely for sure. Wait, um, I, I was curious when I when you brought in Seismitoad, did you expect the Grass type move? Just curious. Uh, no, I actually didn't know it got a grass type move. What is that? Solar Beam or Grass Knot or? A uh, Solar Beam. Solar oh, it gets Solar Beam. Didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, when I was preparing for when I was preparing for season one, I was trying to look up like um, different move sets, and one of them was Solar Beam. And the reason why they put Solar Beam on Dorilodon was to take down uh, Rotom Washes. I didn't know that. <laughs> so that yeah, was. I didn't, I didn't know it got it. That's pretty cool. That gave me an upper hand, even though I didn't get many dubs. In season one, but it did come in clutch against gym leader chat. I mean, gym leaders. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. All right, man. It was a pleasure uh, talking to you, man. Um. Oh yeah, man. Good, good battle. Get some. Uh, we should get some. What's it called? Some uh, gym leader multi battles in season two. See how it goes. Exactly. Um, Phantom was already working on that for season yeah. one, but he didn't get as many people to join. Yeah, that's true. I think it was only like a few of them. Yeah, I still have plenty of more gym leaders to take on. I still have the poison, steel, fairy. I got so many more left. So that's why I'm glad you got you got you followed back to me when I texted yeah, I was, you. I mean, I was just chilling, so I was like, sure, I'll do it right now. I don't mind. I was just chilling. <laughs> Alrighty, man. All right, you have a good one. Any last words? Yeah, man. You too. Uh, no, I'm good here. All right, then follow my man Q the Costa Rican. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, uh, everything about him will be in the description below. And with that being said. Kill the Costa Rican, have a good one. Alright? Good man. Peace, Peace. out.